fans. No, not them. Like for your 3D printer. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your fan on your 3D printer. Talk a little bit about the differences of the fans and the benefits of doing this upgrade to your printer. It's in today's video, so come check it out. Alright, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. Glad to have you watching today's video. And today we are talking about fans. So fans are very important in the 3D printing world. Obviously they cool our hot end, they cool our filament, except when a fan goes out. So recently on my Ender 5 Plus, fan blew out, uh, just stopped working. It's something that you'll come across, especially if you run your machines a lot. So I figured this video would be helpful. At the end of the video, I am going to talk a little bit about the difference of fans that you can get based on your budget and your machine. But this video will highlight the Ender 5 Plus. Uh, you can obviously do this upgrade to many, many other printers. It's just the installation may be a little bit different from printer to printer. Pretty straightforward on the Ender 5 Plus. It's not a crazy, crazy in-depth tutorial, but again, I do these videos because sometimes people are just a little bit apprehensive. They may not be mechanically or electrically inclined, but I try to break it down really simple, really easy. Uh, something that when a stock fan goes out, it's definitely better just to upgrade and get a better fan because it's going to give you better results. So without any further ado, let's get into swapping that fan out on the Ender 5 Plus. At the end of the video, like I said, I'll talk a little bit about the differences of fans and a couple more tips and tricks if you ever come across a situation like this. So let's get to it. All right, so I went with the Winston dual bearing fans. Uh, you can see here that they come with two hot end fans and then two side filament cooling fans. So the first thing you wanna do is take your cover uh, off the front of your hot end. So on the Ender 5 Plus, there are three hex screws holding it in place. Uh, there's two that are holding both the cover and the BL touch in place, so you have to take that off. Next, grab your snippers because you're gonna have to remove a couple zip ties. There's one at the base of the wire harness there, so just kind of snip that off. And then you kind of have to peel the coping up a little bit. There's another zip tie right there, and just snip that guy off and you're good to go. Next, we want to remove the old fan from the factory fan shroud. So go ahead and just grab the Allen key and remove the four hex screws that are holding the fan in place. Pop it out, and then you're going to want to locate the red and the black wire. Uh, about three inches up, go ahead and snip those wires because we are going to have to splice the new fan in. Just get that old fan out of the way. Grab the new fan. It does have a white plug on the end of it. Just cut that off. You're not going to need it. Give yourself more wire than you need. You can always trim it down if you need to. Uh, but go ahead and just give those a good twist. Uh, you want the wires facing each other and kind of intertwine them together. But get those wires snug and twisted nice and tight, and then we're going to solder them together. Once your soldering iron is heated up, go ahead and throw a little bit of solder on each one of those wires. Very, very important. We don't want those wires coming loose or touching each other or anything like that. Next, I like to use liquid tape. You can also use heat shrink. That works awesome. I just had liquid tape handy, so put a little bit of liquid tape on there. Seal that off. Uh, always double check your work. So here you can see I'm checking the fan, making sure it's working. Then I'm going to reinforce it with just a little bit of electrical tape just to make sure all those connectors are nice and clean and hidden. I always like to triple check everything, so once the wires are taped off, I like to just turn the machine on, make sure the fan's spinning, and it is. What I'm going to do real quick is talk about the side cooling fan. The wires are a different color. They're blue and yellow, not red and black. So what you want to do is same process, cut the wires, but you're going to want to wire the blue, which is the negative, to the black on the new fan, and then the yellow wire is going to go to the red on the new fan. So once you verify that your fan is in working order, it's time to put everything back together. So you're just going to reverse everything you did, grab those four hex screws, remount the new fan into the fan shroud. Again, I'm going to make sure it's working one last time before I put everything together. But then uh, just kind of conceal all the wire and grab some zip ties, kind of zip those on, put that all back together, make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, remount your fan shroud, your BL touch, and that's pretty much it. And she's good to go and you're ready to print. All right, everyone. Well, that's it. That is the video. Pretty much straightforward of a tutorial as you're going to get. But again, wanted to whip this video just in case there's anybody looking for some tips and tricks. Also want to throw those wires out there for that side cooling fan as they are different. Just in case you need it and you need to replace that side fan. Uh, these Winston fans that I put in, uh, they're going to be a lot better than the stock fan. The fans that I went with, they were a dual bearing fan. Uh, so understand they're going to be a lot better than the stock fans that come on these printers. These stock fans are going to be single bearing. Uh, they might have a bushing or a sleeve or a cantilever on the fan shaft. 
nothing too crazy. Uh, it's just going to wear out a lot faster. The dual bearing, of course, it's going to have a bearing both in the fan shaft and on the motor. So it's just going to run a lot smoother. It's not going to get worn down quite as quick. So I like the dual bearing. It still does produce a little bit of noise, not quite as much as the stock one. If you wanted a better fan, Winston also offers the hydraulic fans, which are really going to be the best. That is all encased uh, with fluid. So it's going to be the quietest, it's going to be the most efficient, and it's also going to last the longest. Eventually, I will probably get some of the hydraulic fans and kind of test with a DB meter to see which one is better and how much quieter is the hydraulic. The hydraulic is a little bit more. I just went with the dual bearing uh, just because I could get it here a little bit faster. It was a little bit cheaper and overall it's worked out pretty good for me pretty much it for fan guys like i said i try to keep these videos uh very simple not too crazy i wanted to explain a little bit of the difference between the stock fan and then some additional fans you can get the big reason i went with these winston fans is because they were basically a direct factory swap out there was no additional modification needed i see some people that have these big <laughs> crazy like contraptions with all these fans and everything and i guess that's cool i might look good for show but i don't like adding all that extra weight uh on the gantry i wanted something that was just an easy replacement uh direct swap out the wiring the fitment everything was great with these fans so that's really a, a big plus for these i did inevitably replace the side cooling fan for the filament i did notice a, you know a little bit of difference it wasn't anything crazy again i've talked in videos past it's always important to do uh those temp towers so i always do those with all my filament uh, but replacing that side fan there uh, that did help a little bit so that's also a nice little upgrade you can do replace that hot end and that side one and just make those prints look even better pretty much it for the video guys uh, hopefully it helped you if it did go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know what you think drop me a comment a uh, lot more videos on the way uh, i am wrapping up star lord i am hoping to get that video out maybe friday or saturday there's just a lot of editing i have to do i wanted to throw this video together just because i had talked about fans in my star lord part one video um so i wanted to just show you how easy it is to uh, swap out that fan it's a nice upgrade you can do if you're wanting to get a little bit better cooling for your hot end and for your filament or if something goes wrong and a fan burns out like it did on me you could very simply just replace it about 10 or 15 minutes that's it guys that's the video that's all i got let me know what you think give me a thumbs up drop me a comment and until next time dw out later